Psychological Ones by Norma Torres. Psychological wounding is the result of growing up in a society that dehumanizes and devalues women. Girls often experience many losses as they give up their dreams in order to conform to parental and societal expectations. The risk factors for receiving such wounds are not only rape and battering, but also merely being female in a society that values only males. Women are oppressed in the society, and this oppression has psychological as well as physical, economical, and social ramifications. You don't have to hit to hurt. Emotional abuse is as harmful as physical abuse. Hi everyone, my name is Faye Hurley and I'm the founder of Eden Aromatics here in the UK and I'm also a survivor and educator on domestic abuse. The purpose for these vlogs is to share all of the information that I've gained over the years in the order that I have learned it so that I can try to help empower other survivors too. So today's vlog is about psychological abuse or mental abuse as some people would call it. Uh, some people would lump this in with emotional abuse too, but some people don't. So for argument's sake, I would say that if you could watch the emotional abuse vlog and this one, then you've pretty much got it covered. So some specific examples of psychological abuse would be the perpetrator um, trying to isolate the victim. So there's a number of ways they can do this, but some of them would be that they would stop the um, victim from having any um, family and friends come to visit. They would make it really awkward for family and friends to visit. So perhaps they might walk around naked while the family and friends are there. Um, they might start an argument in front of your family and friends. So all in all, what it does is it makes the family and friends feel really embarrassed and awkward so that they just stop coming around eventually. Again, they would stop the um, victim from going out to see any family and friends too. Um, they might also move um, the victim across the country or obviously across the world um, so that they are physically removing them from their family and friends as well. Um, they wouldn't allow the victim to have any privacy either, so they would open your emails, your letters, they would check your phone all the time for your messages. They would stalk you as well. Stalking is a big um, psychological abuse uh, abusive tactic. Um, they wouldn't allow you to have any independence either. So you most likely wouldn't be able to have a job. If you did, they would end up turning up at your place of work. So that again, it's really embarrassing for you. And in the end, you most likely leave your job or perhaps even get fired. Um, they wouldn't allow you to have any time on your own either. Um, a really big one for keeping the victim in the relationship is that the perpetrator will blame the victim for their behaviour. Um, and also they will say that um, they're behaving in that way because they love the victim so much. So again, it's just a kind of way of really messing with that victim's mind. Um, they will also minimise the behaviour as well. So you will often hear a perpetrator using the word only in their sentences. So they will say things like, I only pushed you. Um, it was only a joke. So what it does is it then makes the victim feel that they are making too much of the abuse. So again, this makes them stay in the relationship. Um, 
they will also say that they will never act in that way again. So they'll act in a really remorseful way that perhaps they'll be tears, they'll be buying flowers or gifts, that type of thing, um, in order to keep the victim in the relationship. Uh, the perpetrator will promise that they'll never do it again, but they always will. Um, a perpetrator will also use the children a lot if you've got children in the relationship. So again, another way of keeping the victim in the relationship is for the perpetrator to say, you can't take the children away from me. The children need to have both parents. So again, because the victim then will feel that they would be a bad parent by taking the children away, um, they end up staying in the relationship for longer than they really should. Um, a perpetrator also might um, get the children to take part in the abuse. So, for example, they might get the children to verbally or physically abuse the um, victim parent as well. So what this will do is obviously mess with the victim's mind. They'll, make, they'll start to believe that they are a bad parent, that even their own children have no respect for them. So again, go back to the emotional abuse blog, this will have um, uh, a detrimental effect to their feeling of self-worth. Um, the perpetrator also might use the children um, in the way that they will actually abuse them. So again, this will make the victim parent feel that they are powerless, that they can't even look after their own children, and there will be a huge amount of guilt there as well. So all of these things will keep the victim in the relationship and it will also um, leave them feeling, again, like they have no value and it will really mess up uh, their mental well-being. In the book that I've mentioned before, Living with the Dominator, by Pat Craven, um, the best chapters to read in there would be the um, jailer, the liar and the bad father characters because these really cover the uh, mental and psychological abuse that I've talked about today. So on the flip side of this, people that aren't um, psychologically abusive would be the exact opposite. So they would want you to see your family and friends, they would make um, your family and friends feel welcome, they would encourage you to go out and have your own interests and to follow your passions, that type of thing. They will also admit when they're in the wrong. Um, and they will be a responsible person and a responsible parent. So if anyone has recognised anything um, in their relationship from what I've said today and has recognised that they're in an abusive relationship, I would highly recommend that you contact Women's Aid or a similar organisation in your area. Thank you. Powerful words. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can break your soul. Verbal and emotional abuse is just as damaging as physical abuse. Stop violence against women. Take all the time you need to heal emotionally. Moving on doesn't take a day. It takes lots of little steps to be able to break free of your broken self.